from monday we will have our regular classes and today is the last demo session which i am going to take now see already in yesterday's session we discussed very clearly about recursion what is mean by recursion what are the different types of applications that we can able to develop by using recursive algorithms so all these things we covered very clearly with example programs so now today we are going to see few more examples related to this recursion let us see almost we are going to wind up this recursion topic today so what is another program that i am going to discuss last class we have seen substrings right similar to this so we are going to talk about um, uh, subsequences subsequences sub subsequences or uh, we can say uh, subsets subsets of the given array or list because we know in in general programming languages we will use the word called array but in python we are referred it as a list see consider just i am considering one example like 123 okay is nothing but uh, the elements what we have now what will happen is we need to find out we need to find out subsequences assume that this is nothing but a first subset what we have empty subsets then one then another subset then another subset then one and then two is one subset then one and then three is another subset two and three is another subset finally one two three sir whatever example we covered in the previous class so almost similar kind of things right so almost similar kind of things right yes so whatever we discussed in the last class strings related thing same concept but in previous example we have taken the characters and we aligned but here these are nothing but the numbers subsets we have okay so i hope the problem statement is very clear for you approach is almost same but the problem statement clear for everyone akshay hari ratna sakshi clear Yes sir. yes, sir. Now, first I will draw the diagram. Later, we will go for uh, coding purpose. Okay. So, assume I am going to take only two elements in the list. So, I am going to call a function. Okay. Like the function is going to take the function is going to take two parameters. One comma two. Comma. Sir, how many um, what is a a length of the given string that we have to pass assume that we are going to start from index zero then what is a result sir result set is nothing but empty result set is nothing but empty like that we have then so my requirement is as usual i said earlier there are two divisions are there one is we are going to take one and i mean the index uh, the element present at zero at the location we will add or we won't add okay now what will happen if you add one the result will become first list is one comma two okay then index value we have to increment and result will become one this is the first case so what is the second one one comma two okay and then one okay and then we are not including the list so what we are doing we are taking one element from this we are adding into the list this is one category we are not including that one that is another category are you clear with this approach please confirm yes, yes sir. sir yes sir now again this is divided into two steps right tell me sir in the first case one comma two is the original list what will be index value now it will be incremented by one unit correct yes, yes. It will be two. Then, so the element which is present at first location, we have to include, we have to exclude. So what is a include? If you include, what will happen? So one comma two. If you exclude, what what will happen? So one comma two. So two comma one. Correct? Yes. 
Yes. One comma two, and in this case, index plus one. So then we have to include first location element two. So now what will happen? So if we include two, it will become two. If we exclude two, what will happen? So one comma two, so two comma empty like this. We are going to get, sir. Then what will happen? Very simple, sir. You can see this is nothing but the first answer. This is nothing but second answer. I mean second subset, third subset, and fourth subset like that we have. When we can stop, sir? Whenever the index value is it reach to one comma two, it is going to print. Any questions up to this? So please yes, confirm, clear? Any questions? Yes, sir. So just we have to write code for this. Let us see how we are going to write code for this. Okay. Yesterday, sir, one, yeah, sorry, please, sir. madam. One yeah, more no problem. Question, yeah, we please, are madam. One and two only we are using as a list in the, in the list, right, sir? Because one. for the subset, for the subset, one comma two only we are taking, right? Hmm. Uh, why one, can we take one, two, three as a subset, and yeah, then you to can. go one more steps, right, for this? Ah, yes, one more step it will come up okay. to index three, you will get. Okay. So, okay. just it is a chaining process. If you take four, what will happen? So, again, four. it is going to divide into four like that. Okay, okay. understood? Yes, thanks. Yeah. Ah, right. So, I am going to write the code now. Listen carefully. What is a code here is assume I am taking one list, anything, sir, one comma, two comma, three comma, four, like this. So, my requirement is I want to calculate a sum of subsets. First list I am going to pass. Okay. So subsets I will call. So first thing is nothing but what I am going to pass the list. 0th index and answer is empty list I am going to take. So from this my requirement is we need to get the content one by one. List and index value. Okay. And empty list like this I am passing. Now. So we have to see how it is going to work. If the value of index is double equal to length of the list, then we have to stop. We need to print the answer. What is this answer? This one is nothing but answer. This one is nothing but answer. Then we have to return the control. <clears throat> Otherwise, what will happen? Subsets, <clears throat> we have to pass the list as usual index plus one. And we have to add L of, okay, we have to add uh, answer plus in the list again we need to take which one so l of index value we have to take this is one possibility what is another possibility we are not going to add to the answer that's all right whatever yesterday example we have taken same thing now i am going to run this code and i will check really all the combinations are coming or not so you can see py space at tester dot py i am giving you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, okay, 2, 3, 4, like that. Then two digits combination, 1, 2, okay, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4, then single digit, 4, 3, 2, okay, 1, like that. Then empty subset, like that, it is printing all the combination. Even if you take 10 elements also, all combinations will come. So I think so, everyone understood how it is going to work. Any questions? Got it, everyone? Yes, sir. Guys, please confirm everyone clear. Now, the next problem which I'm going to demonstrate here is combinations combinations of uh, the given string i need to take a string and we need to generate all the combinations okay i will write the problem statement given a string they have given a string we need to find we need to find all the combinations okay all the combinations of given string we have to find out all the combinations of given string. Combinations means what? 
if input is a my output is a if input is a b sir my output is nothing but what a b and then b a sir if my input is a b c what is output so a b c okay then a c b so then uh, b a c okay then b c a okay next c a b okay c a b then c b a like that combination so you can see so by generating the combinations we are going to get all this content sir everyone understood how these things are coming just theoretical point of view clear huh? yes sir yes sir now let us see how to develop this kind of thing for this also there is one standard uh, algorithm is there first i will demonstrate that see i am going to take a function which is going to take the given string what is a given string let it be abc and then answer is nothing but empty string please follow these instructions and uh, along with me please try to um, um, respond okay what is my first thing is nothing but how many characters are there in there in the input string how many characters are there three characters so we are going to run a loop which is going to execute three times can i say first time i value is equal to zero so second time i value is equal to one third time what is i value two two so what is my requirement is listen my words carefully anyway i will explain we have to remove ith character from the input remember i am not extracting i am removing ith character from the input we will add to the answer sir in abc what is a zero eighth location character please tell me a yeah. a yeah. we have to remove a from the input so that result will become bc correct yes how to remove that and all we will see later then we have to add that a to the answer so that it will become a sir tell me in the second case what will be the output first parameter yes very good ac and then b correct B why because Sorry. the first location we are removing from the input we are adding to the answer now when i is equal to 2 what is the first parameter a b a b and we are removing c and we are adding to the end is the first level clear sir yes yes sir then in the second level now tell me same process only we will repeat in the second case sir how many inputs are there how many characters are there in the input two characters, two characters. one is i is equal to zero i is equal to one when i is equal to zero what will happen sir c. zero is the character we have to remove so that result will become c and we have to add that character to the answer correct yes. what about second case b we are keeping as it is okay we are going to add first location character to the result correct got it yes in this case also same scenario i is equal to zero i is equal to one sir what we are doing zero at the character we are removing and we are going to add to the ending and the first location character we are going to remove in this case also two scenarios zero and then one zero at the character we are removing and we are adding to the answer so first location character we are removing and we are adding to the answer everyone feeling comfortable up to this any questions no, got it uh, now finally tell me how many uh, characters are there in the first string three oi oh, only are talking about the adding one right last After one last one how many characters yeah. are there in the input only one. One. one only one so it will run only one time so we have to remove the character if you remove it will become empty and we are adding to the result correct hmm yes in this case also we are removing the character from here empty and then we are adding to the answer got it
in this case what is answer mt bac correct ah yes and here mt bca and here mt cab and here mt cba clear sir everyone yes we got the answer right acb is one answer abc is one answer bac bca cab cba correct ah is my expected output is clear yes everyone guys please respond yes sir so that i can go for programming got it right now i have to implement this code how to implement so i am going to define a function with the name combinations combinations where i will take the given string yes and then answer so if length of the string is equal to 0 we have to print the answer and break is the base condition is clear is yes, the base sir. condition is clear got it one second yeah now you can see how i am going to remove for each i value in the range of 0 to length of the string so what i am doing here is i am going to call combinations function by taking s of 0 colon i plus s of i plus 1 colon till end comma answer plus s of i am taking like this we are going to generate so if i am passing combinations of like this it will print but anyway how this story is going to work out i will demonstrate you can take anything but i will take for your comfortable purpose i am going to take the string as abc tell me when i is equal to zero which character we have to remove a character a what apply this formula what is this formula we are taking s of 0 colon i 0 colon i and we are taking s of i plus 1 colon end so when i is equal to 0 it will become 0 colon 0 plus it will become 1 colon end correct sir s of 0 to 0 means what output we will get empty string correct yes so plus from first location means it will become bc only right yes sir we got bc we removed the character a right same string i am taking when i is equal to one which character we have to remove b correct apply the formula s of zero colon one plus s of one plus one means what two colon full so s of 0 colon 1 means what 0 to 1 minus 1 which is nothing but 0 which character we will get a plus of 2 colon means what it is going to print up to ending c so we will get a c correct yes sir any questions
if you take a b c when i is equal to 2 what is the meaning which character we are trying to remove third character so it will become s of 0 colon 2 plus s of 3 colon empty so s of 0 to 2 means what 0 to 2 minus 1 1 so we are going to get a b plus empty which is nothing but a b got it sir everyone yes sir that's all yes. let us run the code and check really is it printing is all the combinations are coming or not any questions clear any doubts please confirm guys no sir right so with this we are going to wind up uh, today's session with this recursion has been completed another two applications are there but those applications i will cover while discussing about dynamic programming anyway okay from monday onwards we are going to have our regular session where i will start from the first chapter got it friends those who have not yet registered you can pay the fee and get registered for the course got it sir at what time monday monday onwards our regular timing is what 9 to 10 15 you have to join at 9 o'clock they will share the link okay okay yeah right guys hello yes sir. yeah you are on mute please you can yes, speak uh, yes yes uh, now i'm audible yeah you are audible yes when will get this recorded session notes so uh, that we can practice our program from, yeah yeah from monday onwards everything uh, we are going to share okay okay sure yeah right guys see you on monday